हेलो फ्रेंड्स आशा करता हूँ कि आप लोग बहुत अच्छे होंगे आज के इस वीडियो में हम लोग डिस्कस करेंगे ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चंस ऑन पाउडर मेटलर्जी जो कि बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए पार्ट प्रोड्यूस बाय पाउडर मेटलर्जी इज टर्म्ड एज द आंसर इज सिंटर्ड पार्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेथड इज यूज टू मेक द पाउडर from brittle metals the answer is mechanical pulverization so through mechanical pulverization powder is prepared from the brittle metals next question in atomization molten metal is forced through a small orifice and broken up by a stream of compressed air so this is the definition of atomization or what we are exactly doing in the atomization so a molten metal is forced through a small orifice and it is broken up by a stream of compressed air that is known as atomization so here you can see the schematic of atomization here this is the molten metal it is poured through a small orifice this is the orifice and then a stream of compressed air this is water jet spray okay so the stream of compressed air or the water jet spray that is impinged so as to get a fine particle or the powder that process is known as atomization next question the process carried out in a powder metallurgy is as follows so here the sequence is given the first one preparation of powder then grading of powder then compacting of powder sintering and the correct sequence so here various options are given so the answer is a so first of all we have to prepare the powder then grading is done after that compacting of powder then sintering so that is the process which is carried out in powder metallurgy next question the part produced by powder metallurgy the answer is are of higher dimensional accuracy so this is the biggest advantage of powder metallurgy whatever the parts we are producing from the powder metallurgy it is having higher dimensional accuracy so generally no machining is required for the powder metallurgy part so here you can see the different part produced by the powder metallurgy you can see the finish over it so no machining is required after the powder metallurgy process so here you can see the variety of part that is being produced by the powder metallurgy process next question which of the following tool is manufactured by powder metallurgy the answer is sintered carbide okay so where there is a powder metallurgy you will get an option that is sintered okay so the sintered carbides are produced with the help of powder metallurgy so these are nothing but the carbide inserts which are produced through the powder metallurgy process next question for powder of aluminum and its alloys the sinter temperature and time is the answer is 370 degree celsius to 500 degree celsius up to 24 hours next question the process of infiltration in sintered product is to improve the answer is porosity okay so the process of infiltration in sinter product is to improve the porosity here you can see the infiltration process now this is the starting condition this is partially infiltrated and this is fully infiltrated so basically we we want to improve the porosity of that product that is also one of the benefit of powder metallurgy product next question blank is a term covering a wide range of ways in which the material or component are made from the metal powder the answer is powder metallurgy so powder metallurgy is a term covering a wide range of ways in which materials or components are made from the powders so basically here we are manufacturing the part from the powder and hence it is known as powder metallurgy we are manufacturing the products of metal from the powder hence it is known as powder metallurgy here you can see a wide range of products which has been manufactured with the powder metallurgy next question powder metallurgy process can generally blank the need of use of metal removal process 
द आंसर इज रिड्यूस सो इन केस ऑफ पाउडर मेटलर्जी नो मशीनिंग और वेरी लेस मशीनिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड वॉट एवर द पार्ट्स वी आर प्रोड्यूस विद द हेल्प ऑफ पाउडर मेटलर्जी प्रोसेस नो मशीनिंग और वेरी लेस मशीनिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट पार्ट टू फिनिश इट वेर एज विथ अदर प्रोसेस लाइक इन कास्टिंग प्रोसेस द मशीनिंग इज कंपल्सरीली रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज वी आर नॉट गेटिंग दैट मच सर्फेस फिनिश एंड हेंस द मशीनिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड इन कास्टिंग प्रोसेस वेर एज इन पाउडर मेटलर्जी प्रोसेस वेरी लेस और नो मशीनिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ ऑटोमाइजेशन देयर सो द आंसर इज थ्री टाइप ऑफ ऑटोमाइजेशन इज देयर दैट इज लिक्विड ऑटोमाइजेशन गैस ऑटोमाइजेशन एंड सेंट्रीफिगल ऑटोमाइजेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पाउडर कॉम्पैक्शन सॉरी पाउडर कॉम्पैक्शन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कॉम्पैक्टिंग मेटल पाउडर इन ए डाई थ्रू द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ हाई प्रेशर द आंसर इज ट्रू okay so whenever we are we want to compact the powder <coughs> so as to get the final product so first of all we have to manufacture a dye with the same shape and then we have to pour the powder and then it is compacted here you can see the compaction process so this is the dye this is the dye so the powder is poured and then it is compacted so as to get this final product so these are the st stages involved in the compaction process next question in powder compaction the density of the compacted powder decrease with the amount of pressure applied the answer is false the density do not decrease next question which one is not the powder metallurgy product the answer is zinc okay you can produce iron and steel component you can produce aluminium component you can produce tin component but you cannot produce zinc component with the help of powder metallurgy next question which of the following method is used to make the powder for brittle metals the answer is mechanical pulverization so with the mechanical pulverization we can produce the powder from the brittle metals next question What is the disadvantage of powder metallurgy? The answer is dye design limit the size of product. So in powder metallurgy first of all we have to manufacture a dye with the same shape. Okay, dye is nothing but a cavity where we fill the powder and then it is compacted. So we have to manufacture the dye first and dye manufacturing is very costly process. So we cannot manufacture a large component with the help of powder metallurgy because we have to manufacture a a large dye which is very costly so that is the limitation of powder metallurgy it is a costly process and second thing dye design limit the size of the product next question powder metallurgy is the process whereby metallic shapes are manufactured from the answer is metallic powder so basically we are manufacturing the metallic component with the metallic powder next question the process of crushing the ore into the pow powder is called as the answer is pulverization so the process of converting the ore into the powder that is known as pulverization next question blank is the process of formation of metal powder to use the powder metallurgy by reducing some compound with cu or other reducing agent the answer is reduction so where wherever you see the carbon carbon monoxide carbon dioxide so it is mostly related with the reduction process the last question the underline process yields net shape near net shape parts so that little or no machining is required to obtain finish part in many cases the answer is powder metallurgy so powder metallurgy is a process in which we are getting a net shape or near net shape component where very little or no machining is required so that is the beauty of powder metallurgy process thank you so much for watching this video i have made a complete playlist of engineering metallurgy or material science please visit my channel and watch those videos thank you